I think what it takes is is essentially, like I've said this whole pod, you know, working, and and it it comes down to that, but also knowing what you need to work on because yeah. plenty of people work work work, but don't get the outcomes because they work on essentially they don't know how to work hard properly or what they need to work on. Um, and that is something I've learned from some of the top guys I've been lucky to play with is it's not just about doing tons of reps. Okay. It's about doing like meaningful reps of things. So, you know, I've said like using people around me, understanding what I need to work on, which is obviously what you've got coaches and senior players for, but using those guys and then understanding what I can do that will make a meaningful difference. So if it's just, there's no point in chucking 100 passes off your right hand if you're chucking them all badly yeah. you know if, if you've got someone there telling you okay keep your elbow tucked and push through to the target that kind of stuff like you can do 10 reps if they're meaningful reps so understand well using the guys around me to understand what I need to do and then once I've understood that how to make meaningful difference and meaningful improvement yeah. it's deep I think like literally essentially like pulling the right levers right because mm. it's as you said, there's so many factors that go into peak performance and there's always that temptation to work on the stuff you already know how to do or like you said, just run for the sake of running and it's actually like, where is, like what is the biggest bottleneck to my level of growth? And as you said, like it's very difficult to be able to see that by yourself. It is looking at your yeah. mentors, your coaches, someone who's in your craft and more experienced to be like, look, like there's a way you can finesse that more effectively or this is the right, right approach. Um, and I think that's true in every discipline. Yeah, no facts, bro. There's no point in me practicing kicking if I'm never ever going to kick. But, but I can get something out of, you know, practicing my tackle technique with a coach. If I'm hitting pads, tackling, but doing it wrong, then there's no point. So you just got to know what you're doing and how to do it properly. It's like the uh, difference between efficient and effective. Exactly. Efficient is doing... <laughs> wait. Efficient is doing things right. Effective is doing the right things. Yeah. Yeah. 